right. 12 inch frying pan, we're gonna melt a stick of butter. You're going to put about a, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Here, I've got six uh, things of just regular old sandwich bread that we've been cubed up. Get that in there. I toss these with a little bit of lemon juice, but it's uh, four apples diced up, bite size. I'm gonna get those into it. And we're just gonna kind of mix that around. Let that bread soak up that butter. And I'll show you once it's soaked up what we'll do next. Got uh, three tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of white granulated sugar. And we're just gonna kind of stir that together. Let that sugar melt. Get the rest of that butter melted. Let that bread soak it all up. And that butter, that sugar, Gonna kind of make a little syrup, and we're going to just a touch of salt. When you're doing something sweet, add a little bit of salt. Okay, you can see how it's starting to turn into a syrup. You just want to keep working it around. Make sure all the bread's coated. You kind of smell the vanilla, and then once everything's pretty much moved around. Gonna level it out and we're gonna look to get a little bit of a crust on that bottom kind of a singed in crust so we're gonna let that go probably about 30 seconds or so 45 seconds then we'll flip it over get a little more crust and just keep working it around All right. so we've been letting it sit there about 30 45 seconds got a little crust on the bottom we're gonna kind of fold it flip it Because the best part of this is going to be that little crunch and crust where that bread's got a little bit warm. And I ain't exactly sure what to call this, but you can make it with pears and get a little more crunch to it. You can also make it with graham crackers. But you can kind of see how that bread's all soaked it up. Now what we want to do is then a little bit more uh, crust on there and then we'll serve it. So we pretty much soaked up all the liquid into the bread. The apples have softened up. I really like using this with pears, but there weren't any good crisp pears. So I used a crisp apple. I don't like a soggy apple. You got any big clumps of bread, bust it all around, scramble it up. And then you're just going to plate it. If you got any fresh mint, serve it with that. And we put this into little bowls for serving. But just waiting to get it off of the heat right now. If you've got any fresh mint, vanilla ice cream, serve it warm, put a little on top of it. Very good.